Furniture on the Mend is brought to you by Deft, the wood finish family. Three, four, five pieces of unfinished furniture. One or all of these that could be yours as we play You Bet Your Furniture. Now, let's meet our host, Ward Rose. Our first contestant, Ward, is a Mr. Chester Drawers from Utica, New York. Well, hello, hello, Mr. Drawers. How are you? How are I'm you? I'm fine, Ward. Now, you know how we play the game. Ready to play. Last time you won the footstool and the barrister case. Now, you can bet the barrister case and go for the settle, or you can settle for the settle and bet the barrister case and the footstool and go for a walk outside. Now, do you understand? I think so, Ward. All right. Now, what are you going for? I'm going for the walk. Okay. Well, now, first you have to answer this question. Yes. Well, here's the question. Are you ready? I'm ready, Ward. All right. What nationally syndicated how-to show with the two charismatic stars is about furniture, is informative, and stupid? Judge for the defense, Carl Betts. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Sugarfoot, no. Will Hutchins. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Draw. Oh, That's... Naked City. No, no I'm sorry. Ready You're and wrong. Ready. What do I win? It's a very strange trip. Welcome to the Unfinished Furniture Show. This is the Unfinished Furniture, yes it is. Well, we're actually the just never starting. The never-ending furniture show. The never-ending furniture show. Uh, on, uh, at the end, we're gonna fly out on a big dog. <laughs> this show is a big dog. <laughs> anyway, this, these are some unfinished pieces that we bought at an unfinished furniture store. Well, the store is finished. It's the this, this stuff in it. Right, you can buy it. Unfinished furniture is uh, <laughs> one of the best ways to start a project if you don't feel like stripping because obviously the stuff doesn't need any stripping the the ideal first project for the novice that's right you can find unfinished pieces in pine such as what i'm sitting on mm -hmm. or uh, oak oak over here or sometimes you can get maple or cherry or walnut in your more exotic unfinished mm -hmm. furniture stores and what happens most people buy unfinished furniture and they go and they buy a stain and they slap on a stain and then they slap on a polyurethane and they say this is my piece, and I'm going to put a doily hey, on it. Slap on a white. Yeah. <laughs> Slappy white. Slappy white. So, uh, but it, But it's there's good. a lot of other techniques you can use, right. and we're going to show you a few of those. Finish number one. The pie safe. You know, you mounted your sawhorse from the wrong side. Pie safe? Yeah. There's your no combination pie. on that. Here's the big lock. But do you really put pies in it now? No. It comes with three shelves, and uh, you can put sweaters in it, any kind of general, general novelties. And over here, check this out. That's tin. Uh -huh. that, in the olden days, that allowed for the air so it would cool the pies. And kept the bugs off. Right. And the kids and the children. But, of course, this is a reproduction, and what we want to do is make it look like an antique. We're going to age it naturally with... With... Lye. Three big letters. L-Y-E. Now, lye is used as a drain opener, but it's also used in the wood finishing industry. Some of your fine wood woodworkers and wood finishers use lye to age wood. It reacts uh, very well with cherry. Yeah, it turns it red. About 30 years it can age it, and we'll show that in another show. <laughs> like how many, how long they age watching this show. That's right. Well, it's equivalent to that. We are to TV what lye is to wood. Now, this lye will turn this a yellowish honey color. That's right. And then after, after the lye process is finished, we'll wash it on. We'll rinse it clean with fresh water, let it dry, neutralize the lye with white vinegar, and then let that dry. And then put shellac and wax. And before you start to have fun with lye, make you sure... You must respect it. Make sure you... you must respect it. You must respect it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wear your old clothes, as we have on here. Use gloves. Wear gloves. Wear goggles, goggles because if you get this in your eye, then you'll have to say goodbye for a while. Lye may be caustic, but it's not any more caustic than some of the removers that people might be using already. It's actually safer than some removers. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what's your proportions there? Well, I got about a half a can. This is a 12-ounce can. I'm Mix gonna, it in about two quarts of water. About two quarts of water. And... Paint stirrer? Paint stirrer, please, doctor. Now, you'll watch this bubble up. Come on, do the inside. I'm going to do the inside. Do this with a rag. Don't do it with a paintbrush, because it'll eat the paintbrush. I'll steady this. Did we say put a tarp down? You better, because it'll. we don't know what uh, color it'll turn your grass. The zoysia, it turns one, and uh, 
I love what you've done to this house. I like that nice purple patch in the lawn. Now, a lot of times when you buy unfinished furniture, it comes from the factory and it's sanded on the flats. But a lot of times you have these little hairs that stick up on the edges. And you could just take a paper. I got a 280 paper here. And you could just go along. You see this fiber here? Hairy fiber. That's a hairy fiber. Work with Sullivan. 65 with a dog axe. So you just go on the side and cut them off. Once the Y goes on, it's not going to darken any more than it is already. But we got a fresh pail of water here. And you just want to put some fresh water on it. Now, if you're outside, you can actually do this water part with a hose. Hose it until the water runs clean. You'll see it coming off yellowish, and then you'll see it coming off clean. Now, what could be one of the things that happens for putting water on wood? Well, it could swell up, it could crack. But if you're trying to make this look like an antique, that's even better, right? But it will at least raise the grain. So it will have to be sanded before you put any finish on it. Now, one other reminder. If you buy a piece and the piece is veneer, don't do that. Mm-hmm, because then it'll raise the grain I want to show, and the veneer. I want to show the side here. Some pretty grain markings in there for pine that you wouldn't necessarily see if you put a regular oil stain on it. It would just look splotchy because pine stains unevenly. That's why most people often put a natural finish on it. And then applying the white vinegar. It smells like a deli in here now. Saturated. Get it into the wood. We're going to give it a good shellacking, Captain. The, with the ever-popular spit or sealer coat. And this is sealing the wood. You should always, especially if, you're, if you have unfinished furniture, seal everything, all edges, all sides, all insides of drawers with shellac. And this will reduce any risk of warping or getting any tiny, dirty things in there. So this dries real fast. You let it sit until it feels dry, and then you can sand it with like a 280 or 320 paper, and then apply a second coat of the shellac. For the third coat, after it's sanded, put a little bit more of the shellac from the can in here. It'll give it a little thicker body, and then apply that. Sand that, and then we'll uh, wax it. It's wax. It's, it's dark liquid wax. So we've waxed almost all of it. I just now we you just apply this to the front. Just a nice wipe. While we're waiting for this to dry, you open up and you look, put the shelves in. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Ready for your Angora, your cashmere. All your CDs. Your, uh, your Vicuna which is the smallest of the llama family, very small. Next size, the alpaca and the large llama. I just got back from Peru. I can't help it. So that's it for a pie server. Now the next thing we're going to do is the barrister the bookcase. The barrister bookcase. I just da -da, said that. Dun -dun. Da -da, dun -dun. Used by our friends, the attorneys. That's why we must attack it gently. It gently, or, or suits will arise. Right. Uh, the glass front with the garage door type openings mm -hmm. for the dusty books, so they don't get so dusty because, you know, precedent is precedent. And originally, these were made as separate units, and they were stacked. They were stacked, called stack bookcases, so you could put three over here and two over here if over you wanted. Or you can make one tall of six, or, or eight, or 17. Now, this is what we're using, ferrous sulfates day off. Ferris Bueller sulfate. And uh, this is for women. You can use a man's or a woman's uh, formula here. We used the whole bottle in about, oh, what was it? I guess it's about a half a quart of water, maybe a little less than a quart. Bad night at the deli. Right. Now, the, similar to the way we did those Adirondack chairs that time. Uh, well, many, we, many years we ago. We used the vinegar and water and all the rusty iron, and then we strained that, and we applied it to some oak Adirondack chairs, and it turned it a dark black or a gray depending on how much water you added. This Bring is going to do down. the same thing because the iron supplement is going to react the same way with the tannin and the oak and give it a base color. After we get the, the gray, we'll apply an oil stain, and that'll give a nice uh, 
mission kind of color, and then we'll follow that up with a wax. I think everybody took enough notes on that. And it'll look, so if you can hold this, my friend, we're gonna strain this through a piece of cloth here, a piece of trace cloth. There we go. We must try and get it on quickly. Of course, then excess must be removed. Doctor, I, I just can't get the damn gloves on. I cut his heart open now, except for the gloves. Anyway, this is a walnut stain bought in a can, and then I added some Van Dyke Japan color, and Van Dyke brown, and some burnt sienna, and a little bit of Japan dryer. So it's kind of thick, and it's gonna go and lay over top of the ferrous sulfate gray. shellac with an orange shellac. Yeah, that'll bring out a little bit of the orange color. A lot of people still don't uh, understand that you can actually put an oil stain on and when it dries, you can shellac over it with a light spit coat of shellac and then put a new stain on top of that. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I like to call the draping effect. The draping? We're gonna drape another coat of stain over top of this shellac. So you can stain shellac, stain shellac. You're building up various hues. Beaumont. Now what about the insides of these cabinets? Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> it's gonna have books in there. It's gonna have books. This you, is a barrister book. You think the books are gonna care? The law books here, the, the, the travel brochures here. This is the draping stain. The draping. The, the stain draping for the stain. drapes. That's right. See the color? Now it gives it a classic. A classic mission-esque. Color. Kind of a that's, color. That's the burnt sienna color. OK, this is a settle. It's an early American piece and we're going to use a milk paint on it. Mm-hmm, because we didn't drink our milk this morning. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use it for a paint instead. It's a paint that we bought. It's a milk paint we got through a uh, woodworker's supply catalog. Right, and early Americans, uh, the settlers, ironically, settle settlers, uh, used to use milk paint. And they would color it with things like uh, blood. <laughs> right, it's truly cow's blood or Berry dried, juice. dried pigments that they grind up from the surrounding area. And the stuff that we bought here. Actually has some of those pigments, it's, ochre. Well, it's got lime and uh, clay and pigments. And so you mix it with water, you get the consistency that you want. You can make it into a stain or you can paint it on thicker and make it a regular paint. But you gotta put on two coats and the first thing you gotta do is wet it down. It smells like earth. It looks like earth. Are you sure it's gonna look good on this? Well, I certainly hope so. You wanna test that maybe on the underside well, of this. Like I said, the, the, it's going to be two coats we have to apply, and this first coat is going to be more like a stain. We're just doing this because if it was really ugly, this would be the part that the people probably would never see unless they put their boots in there and they'd be free. Well, I hope they're going to put something in here. We're using our nylon brushes. And the nylon brushes go very well with heels. <laughs> Right. Like I said, the Cuban, the Cuban heels. The Cuban heels, yes. Now be warned, and once you apply this stuff, this becomes absorbed right into the wood like a sponge. You'll never get this paint out. Mm -hmm. Now you could use a roller for this. That's what I'm using, a foam. We're gonna put on the second coat. I, I mixed more of the powder in with this paint, so it's a... You've thickened it. It's a lot thicker. I thickened it with a roux. We're going to roux this day. No, I... I We're checked. having so much fun here. My shoes are perspiring. Mm-hmm. 
I'm obscuring the grain now. From here to obscurity. Next piece, a large, cumbersome looking thing. What not, is it? Not beautiful wood. It's a closet. It's a wardrobe. Yeah. It's got doors. Is this second floor? It's got doors and uh, birch ply. Birch ply. And what we're going to do. Didn't he? Uh, he was the Ways and Means Committee. That was Bert Lars' brother. That was birch ply. Birch ply. Anyway, uh, we're going to sand. We've already sanded this lightly. We're going to give it a coat of shellac to seal it. And then we'll sand that, and then we're going to prime it, and then we're going to come back and do a colored finish on Beautiful it. Beautiful colors all over. Enameling. That's I, what we're doing. We're enamored. Yeah, you're enamored with enameling, yes. So this is an example of not so high grade wood can be made beautiful through the uh, wondrous finishes of. Keep going. You know, something will pop out. <laughs> Go ahead. It's functional, though. It's got lots of space for your clothes. I've Please. lived in smaller apartments. Uh -huh. Remember shellacking again with the spit coat. It's going to seal the wood, especially this edge here. This, it's just flake board with a veneer on it. So you want to make sure that you, you seal the flake board edge so the paint is not going to absorb too much into the wood. Put on the primer. Now this is the first coat. When we do the second and final coat, I'm going to try and lay this down flat. Hey, get that choo-choo Charlie upholstering look, huh? <laughs> well, I, I misplaced my, my regular basic black little number. This is the last of the unfinished segment, and we have a small vanity. White, stool. White, vanity white. It is vanity white now, but it's a stool. And Ed's going to do the top. I am. And I'm going to do the whole bottom. I have chosen the lovely pastoral print with the center scene. Now I'm going to want this right in the center. See if he does it. I got some alcohol here in this can. And this is called a penetrating stain. It's not an oil stain. This dries real fast. And it stains. So you want to put on your rubber gloves. <laughs> We have 20 inches by 12 and a half. Ooh, I hate those half inches. Now, I want to dilute it because I don't want it straight. I see where I'm going to make my mark here because I want this right in the middle. I'm going to put a little more of this and make it a little darker. Take my staple gun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Now I know I'm going to win. He's got to use tacks. The hard flake board is if I did the test before. I've got to switch to tacks. One tack there. Now you can see the chair is drying here. The stain is drying. And it's got a nice salmon look to it, I guess you would call it. I see he's winning. I'm only going to finish up with like four tacks total. This is spray shellac. Now, you can't brush on shellac because this stain is alcohol-based. And if I brushed it on, it would pull the stain right off. So I'm doing the back of the legs first. And as if we haven't told you many times, when doing operations like this, what do you wear? Uh, nice uh, sequins. Uh, uh, an organza. No, you wear a respirator. Turn it around. Why? Because I want to get the feet. To see if it's centered. Now a fold like this, I like to make an interior fold. Boy, is he a killer with a can or what? Jeez. Now we're gonna let this dry. One fold like this. Whoa. Oh, that's cheating. And one fold like this. It's Whoa. a nice, nice breeze around here. Now the next step is the tone spray. What is a tone spray? The tone spray is a lacquer that has a pigment in it. You can see it's got color in it. And it is a lacquer. 
what this is gonna do is gonna even up some of the irregularities in the wood. This is a light red, and this is a dark red. I'm gonna use a little bit of each. Again, I'll do an interior fold. That means I'm folding the fabric underneath here. This has to be done in stages. You can't put heavy coats of this on because it'll run. And make a release cut. <laughs> You're waving that right towards me. <laughs> Finuto. Well, 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 it was a tie then. It's centered. It's centered, it's lovely. I wish I was there having a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is dry too, gosh, I hope so. It's dry. This is our small uh, project. Small that, to big. That anyone can start. Here we five go. Five projects we five, did this week. Five, I was doing sign language. The beautiful milk paint that I'm sitting on. I'm sitting on a milk paint. The lye cabinet with, uh, we washed with lye and did a shellac and wax. And the big ugly thing that is now a big ugly blue thing. The lovely barrister bookcase with the uh, Cisco, uh, amyl nitrate, no, the ferrous sulfate. No, ferrous sulfate and, and oil stain and shellac. And the lovely tapestry and red toned bench. And you know, I'm getting this and this. No, I'm getting this. No. I'm getting this, what I'm sitting on. You take the big thing. I don't want the big thing. I want this I want and this. I want the bookcase. Though. I want this and that. And no, I'm going to have the bookcase and this. No, I'm going to have the bookcase and this.